Welcome. This is All I Mass TV, and my name remains Jake's Anemo. Now we have a very simple exponential challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. Okay, so I get notified whenever we drop wonderful video because in this channel we drop at least a video every day, and any of the days I fail to drop a video, expect two the next day and i've kept to that promise all right so let's go into today's challenge the question says x to the power of three minus five equal to three then what will now be the value of x let's take our solution so have solution we write down our equation which says your x to the power of three minus five equal to three carry everything to the left hand side if you do that Dx will now become s to the power of 3 minus 5 minus 3 or equal to 0. Minus 5 minus 3 will give us minus 8. So automatically we have this s to the power of 3 minus 8 equal to 0. Okay. Now we are having x to the power of 3. So what should come to our mind is this. Can you put in a particular number of figure here, raise it to power 3 to give us 8? The answer is yes. So if we put down 2 there, it will give us 8. So we have here x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 equal to 0. Let's put this in bracket and bring out this cube. So if we do that, this will automatically give us bracket epping x to the power, sorry, x minus 2 or to the power of 3 equal to 0. Very nice now. Okay. From here, there is a relationship which says that if you have your a, if you have a to the power of 3, okay, minus b to the power of 3, okay, this is same as um, bracket open a minus uh, b, close bracket, bracket open, uh, a squared plus your 2ab plus b square. Okay, so if we succumb to this rule, then we can also express this in this format. Okay, so from here, let's proceed. If we bring out this format, this will give us something like this bracket open x minus 2 close bracket. Okay, the bracket your x to the power of 2 plus 2x there plus 4 or equal to 0. This is what we're going to have from this expression here. Any confusion? Now, okay, so from here, if we apply the zero product rule, dx will be equal to 0, dx will be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and do that. So from here, Let's take from here. Okay. So we now equate this to zero. We now have here x minus 2 equal to zero. And therefore, our x equal to 2. We've gotten one of the values for x. And mind you, we're looking for three values for x because this is raised to power 3. So from here, we take the second part of the equation, which says your x, the x to the power of 2 plus 2x, 2x plus 4 equal to 0. Now, if you look at this critically, we cannot use factorization method to handle this. So let's use the quadratic formula to solve this. So from here, using the quadratic formula, okay, using the quadratic formula, the quadratic formula is the quadratic formula and it says that x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac wow. all over 2a let's go ahead and bring out our a b and c from here our a equal to positive 1 b equal to positive 2 and c equal to positive 4. Let's substitute this into this 
expression now uh, into the formula but before we continue if you are new to this channel if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified so in order to get our, our videos whenever we, we upload them okay so let's go back to the bird again so here we're going to have here yeah, x equal to minus rb is 2 plus minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times our a1 times our c4 extend this all over 2 times 1 so let's break this down this will give us minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 will give us 16 okay all over 2 Let's go ahead. This will now give us minus 2 plus minus 4 minus 16 will give us minus 12. So we're going to have here square root of minus 12 all over 2. Good. If we recall our identity from here, let's proceed from here. So we'll bring in our identity. So recall that your or I, which is imaginary number, is equivalent to root minus one so if we bring that here this expression will now become minus two plus minus i root 12 all over two and you know root 12 could also be written as if you have your root 12 as four times three and this is same thing as root four times root 3 which is equal to 2 root 3 from sod okay so let's put the whole of this into dx so dx will now give us minus 2 plus minus 2i root 3 all over 2 if we factor out 2 so we are going to be left with is equal to um minus 1 plus minus i root 3 okay so this is the solution to your x so we are not having x here so if we split this we're going to have here x1 from here we're going to give us minus 1 plus i root 3 then x2 is equal to minus 1 minus um, i root 3 okay so from here what then is the solution or are the solution to this expression now from here we now therefore say therefore our x1 is equal to we we'll solve our x1 already from the first side which is equal to 2 then our x2 is equal to this is what we have as our s2 minus 1 plus uh, i root 3 and our x3 is equal to minus 1 minus i root 3 so these are the three values that satisfy this exponential equation so if you get something special, some values from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Okay, or you have a better way of solving this. Also drop it in the uh, comment section below because we are here to learn from you and if you, as you are there to learn from us too. And also we promise to give our subscribers nothing but the best. Okay, so expect the best from us. But that does not mean that criticism and um, corrections are not welcome. Your criticisms are welcome. Okay, your other ways of solving uh, any of our challenges are so welcome. Thanks for being there. We love you. Bye for now.